Alright guys, today I'm going to explain to you about course lock and home lock. On the left hand side of the screen you're going to see my left stick input controlling the facing yaw input, the altitude throttle input, and then the right stick which is for controlling forward and reverse, that's your pitch input, and left and right your roll input. Also on the map is the green dot, which is of course your home point, the blue dot, which is where the pilot's located, and the red arrow is the aircraft. Alright, so the aircraft's in the air, the flight mode's already been selected, the heading's straight ahead along the sideline, ready to go. So I'm giving it four right stick, and I'm giving it some yaw input, still holding the forward right stick, so I'm moving along the same heading along the sideline and spinning at the same time. Alright, pulling the stick back and giving it some yaw input, still staying along the sideline. Now if I gave it any kind of roll input left and right, it would actually deviate from the sideline. So here you're going to see some roll input. I'm going to just give it right input only. And you can see I'm moving laterally. And then now I'm giving it some yaw input. Now the whole point of me deviating from the original heading along the sideline is to show you a point here where you can actually reset the heading during mid-flight. So here I've got a new facing, a new heading, I've locked the uh, heading now, and now if I move the stick forward, I'm going to move forward along that line. And the same thing here with yaw and pit, I'm going to spin around that same heading. Alright, so really the same as I've shown you earlier when, when I was moving along the sideline. Just wanted to point out you could reset your heading. Alright, let's go ahead and move to home lock. What's different is the right stick controls how far away or back the aircraft's going to be. That's your pitch and the left or right is going to affect whether or not you go clockwise or counterclockwise around the home point. Here we go. You do need to be five meters away from the home point in order to be able to set the home lock. And this works really the same as uh, point of interest, but you just have more manual control of the aircraft. And now I'm only giving it left stick input, and you can see already that it's following a circular path around the home point. So again, just like point of interest works. Of course, I'm manually controlling the speed and also the facing versus point of interest. It's going to keep that set for you, although you could still manually override. 
So the main thing with home lock is you can feel at ease that whenever you pull the stick back down towards you with the right control stick, the aircraft's going to come back to you no matter where your aircraft is located, no matter which way the aircraft is facing. So it gives you a lot of confidence, comfort that you know that you could get your aircraft back.